What's going on, box fans? Joe Williams with the distance. I'm here to give you my number two in my Miguel Colo matchups. My number five was Miguel Colo versus Kelson Pinto. My number four was Miguel Colo versus Alfonso Gomez. And my number three was Miguel Colo versus Polly Malinaji. Now, everybody who watches my videos know, know about this matchup. This matchup at number two is Miguel Colo versus Antonio Margarito. This matchup was very special. It was it was um set up in April on April 2008 on the Miguel Cotto versus Alfonso Gomez undercard or on that card. It was Kermit Centrum versus Antonio Margarito and Margarito just destroyed Centrum and and um he hit him with you know with this liver shot that just sent Centrum to the canvas. And you know now many people are wondering you know, um, or this is actually a broad intrigue to the Colo versus Margarito matchup now, because now, um, now you got Margarito who's on the comeback trail after losing to Paul Williams back in July 2007, and then you know he took out Golden Johnson, who was a who who actually was a strong contender in one round, and then he took out Kermit Centron and won another championship for the IBF. And knocked him out, you know, knocked him out again. And now, like in May 2008, they signed for the matchup. And after they signed for the matchup, you know, they're actually they put the matchup in Las Vegas to try to attract the Floyd Mayweather, thinking that you know maybe he will fight him if they could bring and attract crowds out in Vegas, out in the West. And they, because they know that all the big fights are are in Las Vegas, and that's where Floyd Floyd's town is in Las Vegas. So, so um, that's why I think that's why Bob Aaron put the matchup out there. But you know, you had the WBO champion, welterweight champion Miguel Colo, who who just defeated Mosley, defeated Gomez. He was and had um some quality victories under his belt at middle at welterweight. And then you have Antonio Margarito, who's held the belt, who actually held the belt for about four or five years, and faced Joshua Clotty, and he faced Paul Williams, and Daniel Santos, and I believe Sergio Martinez. So, you know, Margarito had some good victories and experience as well, being the champion. But Margarito had to drop the belt to, had to drop the IBF belt because he wasn't going to fight Joshua Clotty again. And it meant more money fight Miguel Cotto than it would Joshua Clotty because it was kind of a been there done that type situation I wouldn't blame Margarito for not wanting to fight Clotty again but anyway onto the matchup it took place in July 2008 Miguel Cotto went to the matchup and he started strong he was out boxing out landing and and just moving around and Margarito wasn't wasn't really able to catch him with anything but you know it was a war because Colo was hitting Margarito with his hardest shots, and Margarito was just eating the shots, and it, they weren't doing anything to him. You know, and a lot of people say that Margarito's chin was his defense, and that's actually true. You know, his chin was his defense. You know, he didn't care if he got hit or not. He has he had a really he has a really strong mentality, and that and he has a and he knows that you know he has a strong chin and he knows that. He could absorb any type of shot from Miguel Cotto. And Cotto was just, you know, go, going in there. He was hitting him with shots. And then Margarito was just laying one hard shot all of a sudden. And, you know, and then Cotto, um, you know, broke his nose. And his face started to swell up. And, and you know, it was just a horror sight. And, and you know, at the end of the matchup, Miguel Cotto, um, you know, was just taking a beating. And his face was bloody, you know, and it looked like he didn't, it looked like Kolo didn't want to go on, but he had, but he had to go on. That's just what it looked like, and, and you know, but see, I had to choose this number, mat, this matchup at number two, just because it was a, an exciting matchup to watch. It was a, you know, um, it was a landmark moment in Miguel Kolo's career. It was that matchup that you just wanted to see him in. You know, it was an all-around war. And Margarito um, apparently um, was accused of using plaster of Paris, which kind of takes away from it takes away from the glory of this matchup, the magnitude. It does. It takes away from from the magnitude of the matchup. And 
now you have, and now people are left to wonder Margarito used plaster in the match but not and you know, which is which is horrible, you know. But seeing the matchup you you were able to see the heart heart of Miguel Cotto and you get to see the toughness as well. And but then again you also see the flaws. You see that Miguel Cotto doesn't clinch when he's hurt or in trouble. But Margarito um, versus Miguel Cotto was one of the best fights of two thousand eight. It was one of the best fights to watch in two thousand eight and it was act, it was action packed. It was guaranteed excitement, and that's why it's my number two matchup for Miguel Cotto. Though though my number two could have been you know a uh, Cotto versus Quintana, which I, which is an honorable mention to be honest. I think that this matchup, I think this is the mat the career defying matchup for Miguel Cotto was against Antonio Margarito. In in some essence, but the next matchup which I'll do is number one is the actual the pinnacle of Miguel Cotto's career so far but anyway that, that's my number two Miguel Cotto versus Antonio Margarito be sure to tune in and check out number one tomorrow and thanks for watching Peace.